Hello everyone, welcome to NCERT's live phone-in program on Swayam Prabhas channel number 31 Kishore Manch and also we are live on NCERT's official YouTube channel NCERT official. My name is Shalini Singh. Today our topic of discussion is integration of skills and learning language with specific reference to Mishbil the author and for that we have uh, Professor Sandhya Rani Sahu with us in our Namaskar. studio from the Department of Education in Languages, NCERT, New Delhi. Welcome, uh, Professor Sandhya. Uh, thank, so, you. Um, thank you, Salini. Thank first you. First of all, I, I request you to please brief us on the subject. Uh, this uh, topic, uh, integration of skills uh, and learning language with specific reference to Ms. Bill the Otter. Mm -hmm. I have taken Ms. Bill the Otter as an example mm -hmm. and I uh, will tell the uh, viewers, mm -hmm. I mean the teachers, mm -hmm. uh, uh, teacher educators who mm -hmm. are watching this um, session now mm -hmm. on how to integrate uh, the language skills uh, for the uh, de language development of our uh, students. Mm -hmm. And in this session, I would like to address uh, uh, on uh, integrated approach to teaching, listening, speaking, reading and writing. Mm -hmm. And in this session, I would like to uh, highlight three points. Mm -hmm. hmm. One is that uh, how to identify challenges that are associated with, uh, uh, this, with uh, this language learning, with uh, language learning yes, yes. and uh, taking this integrated approach as, uh, as uh, taking this integrated approach mm -hmm. and uh, ha what kind of problems that ch teachers normally face when they associate uh, 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 when they combine language skills mm -hmm. and uh, what kind of problems they face and what kind of challenges they face or what kind of feedback they receive from they students, receive from students mm -hmm. that we will discuss mm -hmm. here. And the other thing that uh, the second point that I would like to uh, focus, focus here yeah. is that mm -hmm. we would like to explore how to develop and implement a variety of multi-skill instructional options in the classroom. Right. So, multi-skill instructional, option, op, uh, in, instructional op, options are again related to those uh, integration of four language skills, listening, mm -hmm. speaking, reading mm -hmm. and writing. Mm -hmm. And the third point that I would like to highlight uh, today is mm -hmm. that uh, uh, how to equip the teachers uh, with variety of activities. Okay. Because act through activities, through exercises, mm -hmm. uh, through a, a good lesson plan mm -hmm. and uh, how to conduct uh, uh, like um, uh, more interactive uh, activities in the class mm -hmm. and uh, um, these activities, how to make these activities learner centered mm -hmm. so that children who are learning the language. Uh, they will be uh, in the center of learning mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. and they are the people who will uh, work right. because it should be a student oriented uh, mm -hmm. activities mm -hmm. so uh, and how these uh, activities are going to motivate the students how these activities will also hold their interest mm -hmm. in language learning mm -hmm. so these are the things that i'd like to focus uh, today in the in this uh, session right so we have uh, much to talk about but uh, i think we should start with the four skills that you are talking about right now yeah. uh, listening reading speaking listening, and listening speaking reading and writing okay so uh, let's start actually when i spoke to the teachers and mm -hmm. when we go for any teacher training program uh, when we talk about uh, this integration of language skills mm -hmm. lsrw mm -hmm and uh, teachers uh, they find it very difficult mm -hmm. they say that it is not possible to uh, integrate uh, these skills and uh, design activities and uh, uh, prepare instructional materials uh, mm -hmm. for the students in the classroom mm -hmm. and the two things they talk about is that there is no uh, there is a time constraint to uh, integrate these skills. Mm -hmm. The second uh, problem they say that uh, uh, it, uh, focusing on uh, all skills is difficult. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. they, they say that it is not possible. But if you look at uh, but uh, when we went for our NISTA program, mm -hmm. teacher training program for last mm -hmm. 6, 7 months we are doing it mm -hmm. and uh, any other teacher training program we go, even in our textbooks and in our uh, workbook also mm -hmm. we have talked about um, how uh, we can develop this integrate how, how we can develop activities mm -hmm. integrating those four language skills mm -hmm. we would like to tell the teachers that uh, uh, skills cannot be taught in isolation right. 
right, you cannot right. teach any mm. skill isolate in True. isolation mm -hmm. for example teaching uh, listening uh, skill uh, somebody has to speak mm -hmm. then only you will listen right then suppose there is an interaction mm -hmm. uh, there is a role play Mm -hmm. The students will participate in the role play, mm -hmm. they will uh, uh, deliver the dialogues mm -hmm. okay. and then uh, they will uh, um, the others will listen, mm -hmm. they will react. So, so listening and speaking uh, skills they go simultaneously. You mean to say that a group of student is needed for that communication? We always mm -hmm. for mm -hmm. communication, mm -hmm. for interaction, for role play. You need a team. Mm -hmm. You need right. three, four. Uh, uh, you can have a pair work. You can have a group work. Mm -hmm. So you suppose there is a skit to play. There is a mm -hmm. drama to play. You have to have uh, students, mm -hmm. and students will uh, interact. Mm -hmm. Students will deliver. Students right. will participate. Mm -hmm. So that participation, uh, I mean, uh, it uh, it um, entails like it tells us that listening and speaking they go simultaneously. Mm -hmm. Now suppose I uh, we will talk about the mother tongue. How children learn mother tongue? Right, right. right. So um, there is no they don't go to school to learn the mother tongue. Mm -hmm. So they listen uh, to the language continuously mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. in the language environment, being mm -hmm. immersed in the language environment. True. They also uh, uh, listen to their elders, to their siblings, to mm -hmm. all the, to sto different stories, mm -hmm. and they try to pick up language. Right. They pick up language. They and, acquire language. And they don't language. know anything about grammar then. No. In the beginning. In the beginning, there is mm -hmm. no grammar mm -hmm. because the more they are exposed to the language. And they learn the language. Right. So they, they are more they exposed to the listening, uh, listening to a particular language. Mm -hmm. They learn that language. They try to speak. Right. So the more listening leads to uh, better speaking. So why it is difficult to learn any other language except <laughs> mother tongue? No, actually, when we talk about uh, language learning mm -hmm. uh, for mother tongue, mm -hmm. it is uh, uh, the the children they are exposed to the language in a natural setting. Right. And they are continuously being exposed to the language. Okay. So, uh, so many people are talking to them in that mm -hmm. particular language. So they, it is because becomes easier for them to pick up language to acquire a language. You mean to say you live in that environment for a long time and you will be uh, uh, learning that language, uh -huh. being exposed to the mm -hmm. language continuously mm -hmm. in that language environment. You are there. Mm -hmm. But so for example, second language learning English. Mm -hmm. So you don't get uh, that kind of opportunities in learning second language English. Right. Because English, when you come, it comes to English, it is a conscious effort has to be given uh, by the students, by the teacher mm -hmm. to learn that language. Mm -hmm. So you learn the language consciously. Right. But right. yes, here we want our children to create, uh, want our teachers to create a conducive atmosphere, right. create a situation, mm -hmm. a natural uh, situation, natural, right, as right. authentic so as possible, mm -hmm. and give the language give the exposure to the children mm -hmm. and we would like children to pick up language gradually. And let them speak without using grammar so that they become uh -huh. grammar, familiar with the grammar language. Grammar is inbuilt in right. every mm -hmm. language. Mm -hmm. For example, a child uh, when he learns a mother tongue, when he is two year old, three year old, mm -hmm. speaks continuously and uh, without any grammatical error. Right. For example, Hindi, mm -hmm. they do not commit any kind of uh, error in tense. Mm -hmm. There is no error in tense. Mm -hmm. Main gai thi, o gaya tha, main jaungi, mm -hmm. mujhe jana hai. Right, so right. those things they speak automatically. Mm -hmm. Even they also speak uh, this uh, ling. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, if she is a girl, G gender, yes, yes. gender mm -hmm. I mean that also they know. Mm -hmm. So how did they know? It is only by being exposed to right. the language mm -hmm. when, t when the elders mm -hmm. they are speaking the language. True. So they follow the right kind of model mm -hmm. that is given to them. And suppose there is some mistake in it, mm -hmm. they uh, try to um, I mean, rectify these mistakes mm -hmm. when they listen to the right usage. Okay. So, uh, so it is I mean when uh, uh, the language is spoken, mm -hmm. children they start correcting themselves automatically. That right. auto correction is going on in them. Okay. Now also when we are listening to language because we are not uh, like uh, native speakers of English. Right, right. Now also when we go and uh, when we, we want to speak, there are many mistakes we commit. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. we listen to the language, mm -hmm. we read we listen, we mm -hmm. listen to news mm -hmm. and then gradually we correct, we correct ourselves. Okay, right. So that auto correction is continuously going on in us. Mm -hmm. We do it, mm -hmm. children also do it. Mm -hmm. So that uh, like the more you I mean uh, learn the language uh, like uh, the more you ca commit errors, mm -hmm. but errors are but the indicators of learning. Yes, actually the thing is people uh, feel hesitated about it when they uh, do any mistake regarding any other language. 
So that actually the teacher has to tell in the class hmm. that English is not our language. Hmm. 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 So la, uh, if you are speaking an, a different language, it is automatic. It is. It is. I mean, you are bound to commit it is errors. Obvious to do it's mistakes. Obvious, right. Obviously, you will commit errors. Hmm. Hmm. But yes, as a teacher, as a parent, I will give them the right kind of uh, model, right, right usage. Hmm. Hmm. I will give you an example. Yes. Somebody said, "Sir, I may as bag mat laya hu." So here, math is not the right use. True. The teacher did not scold the child. Mm -hmm. Rather, said, "Kya cha? You have to bag mat lay ho. Mm -hmm. Okay. Kal tum uh, bag leke aana. Ye nahi kahena ki main ba bag nahi laya ho." Mm -hmm. So that use of nahi, mm -hmm. he is very automatically, very smoothly uh, he presented, mm -hmm. and the child understood. Mm -hmm. And then he started correcting himself. Right. And then next day he said, "Ki sir." मैं नहीं बोलूंगा कि मैं बैग मत लाया दैट वाज अ पोलाइट वे ऑफ करेक्टिंग इट एग्जैक्टली सो यू शुड नॉट मेक द फील द चिल्ड्रन फील ऑफेंडेड दैट यू डू नॉट नो द लैंग्वेज रादर यू मस्ट एनकरेज देम लाइक गिविंग देम द राइट काइंड ऑफ एग्जांपल सो इफ यू अलाउ मी टू टेक अ क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम आवर व्यूअर वी हैव रिसीव्ड अ क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम हिमांशी शी शी इज आस्किंग वी often uh, suggest our kids or students to read new newspapers uh, uh, to improve their vocabulary and sentences and all that so does it really help because the newspaper language is quite you know are uh, not uh, really easy to understand so it uh, does it really help so actually we always tell the uh, uh, teachers and even students i mean now also uh, mm -hmm. for me mm -hmm. so i always read newspaper because uh, again english is not my language mm -hmm. i try to improve my language mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. so we always say that there is a lot uh, uh, a newspaper can do mm -hmm. in learning a language mm -hmm. so uh, there are many many vocabulary this we call it passive vocabulary mm -hmm. you come across when you read a newspaper mm -hmm. okay but uh, not necessarily that you will be knowing the meaning of every word true so we tell the students that suppose you don't understand you can hmm. use a dictionary right and get the meaning or else you read the newspaper news item mm -hmm. and uh, you guess the meaning also mm -hmm. guessing meaning of words in mm -hmm. context mm -hmm. is also a skill true okay true, true. so uh, that is not if you, if you don't uh, uh, if you don't uh, know the meaning of words many mm -hmm. words in a in a new in a news item mm -hmm. so no worry mm -hmm. if you get the gist If hmm. you understand uh, the the, uh, the you can circle market, that word and you can uh, know the meaning later. You can meaning the meaning. Hmm. You under underline and you know the know the hmm. meaning. Hmm. But so as long as you get the message, you get the uh, uh, get the uh, sense just, sense just, of right, it, right. gist of it, hmm. then it's okay. Hmm. Your purpose is solved hmm. because we normally we do not we we skim the uh, newspaper. Hmm. And so in the gradually. morning, uh, we uh, in the morning you flip through the newspaper, you get the new. Get, so you uh, gradually suppose uh, we call it focused reading mm -hmm. suppose you are uh, uh, trying to find out something on um, on um, a sports uh, activity mm -hmm. something on that mm -hmm. or something on environmental pollution and all mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so you read and you try to make notes and you try to uh, uh, develop into a paragraph mm -hmm. or write uh, about it mm -hmm. or put it in the uh, in, in the notice board mm -hmm. or there is something writing activity that can follow okay so it not it is it they tell them Uh, my viewers, I am telling them, okay, don't mm -hmm. worry about if you do not know many of the words that are there in the newspaper. Mm -hmm. Just try to guess the meaning, and mm -hmm. if you find that it is necessary that you need to know the meaning of the words, then sit with the with a dictionary and try to do that. And dictionary is also a very very important uh, tool uh, so far as language learning is concerned, because when you uh, look at a dictionary, you look at uh, different usage of the words. Mm -hmm. One word can be used in many different contexts. so you get the contextual meaning mm -hmm. so it is very uh, i mean good if the combination is between uh, is a newspaper and uh, a dictionary that will be nice okay so i think we have received a call so if we can connect with it right now so we'll be receiving a question from our viewer mm -hmm. within short while hello hello namaste and namaste who's this i'm i'm vivek from sujapur maharashtra welcome vivek So, what question you uh, have? Yes, uh, I'm showing this live discussion to our students. Mm -hmm. They are uh, pupil teachers, mm -hmm. and they are they do not have a daring to speak English. Right. Due to less vocabulary, mm -hmm. due to problem of tense. Mm -hmm. So, please uh, discuss about it. 
Okay, right. Thank you so much for your question. Thank I you think uh, our yes. experts have already got the question and they'll be uh, answering you. Yeah. Mm, actually, sir, uh, thank you for the, for the question. <coughs> already, I have told you that English is not our language. So, we have to consciously develop the skill. So, uh, when the students they, they do not have they do not have they have less vocabulary, they are not confident to use the language. So, it is our duty as teachers to give them language exposure. So, more the exposure is better language learning. So, uh, and then uh, this exposure is again um, uh, when we, we have to tell them stories, we have to read the newspaper to them, we have to uh, uh, give they take the help of ICT in uh, in uh, uh, giving them the recitation of some poems and uh, there are many many activities that we can do with the students in order to give them listening exposure and also the reading exposure let them read stories let them read enough stories so that the more they read stories they get the language they they they, they acquire language the more they listen to the stories, they will also acquire their language skills. So, it is I mean um, the vocabulary, do not worry about the vocabulary because gradually uh, uh, with exposure you will be get they will be getting the getting the words. True, so, true. it is not not mm, we do not have to worry about it, but yes there has to be a conscious effort and now as I told you that now also I read many stories in the newspaper and I also suppose I come across with, uh, with uh, some words I write it down I write uh, try to find out the meaning I try to find out how they are being used what is the contextual meaning and all that. So, it is I mean uh, it is not uh, one day right. you cannot make make it a language habit. in one day mm -hmm. you have to make it a habit mm -hmm. and every day you have to read certain things. Right. So, the, that's why that's why we always say that uh, we have to give them in create input rich environment for the students. Right. And the more the input right. the get better they will be enriched with true, the language. True. So, you do not have to worry about and it. And read read every day and, and read aloud to uh, improve exactly. your pronunciation and communication thing. That one and a also question uh, also we got that like, uh, why yeah, should yeah, we uh, yes, yes. And So, all. I can take this question as well. Yeah. Uh, Shivani uh, is asking. Uh, does uh, uh, standing in front of a mirror helps speaking well uh, whether it is English or any other language that they want to learn? Mm -hmm. So, this is actually in uh, like uh, connection with what uh, now only the sir has asked the question. Mm -hmm. So, uh, when I was a student uh, I also learnt uh, in a vernacular uh, medium uh, school. Mm -hmm. So, my teacher told me uh, that uh, you have uh, acquired language, library language, I can read and I can write, mm -hmm. but I was not being able to speak English. Mm -hmm. So, that time my teacher told me that you stand in front of a mirror mm -hmm. and uh, close uh, one of your ears mm -hmm. and start speaking. So, okay. you try to listen to your own voice. Mm -hmm. When you listen to your own voice, mm -hmm. then you feel that um, like uh, somebody is speaking. It reflects the way you are speaking. Exactly, it reflects the way I am speaking. Mm -hmm. So, then uh, I feel a kind of confidence comes to me that yes, I am listening to my own voice mm -hmm. and all that. And sometimes like uh, what I listen, uh, my, when I listen to my own voice and when I listen to the uh, to the, a news uh, mm -hmm. reader, mm -hmm. so I f try to find out ki where I have gone wrong. Okay. So, I try to rectify it. Or oh, you can write, write it down, your I sentence. I write it down and, and I rectify mm -hmm. it. So, gradually I try to uh, rectify myself. Uh, gradually I try to rectify my pronunciation. Mm -hmm. Actually, when you stand in front of the mirror, you feel that you are standing, somebody is standing before you. Or there is someone you speaking. standing like a friend for you. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So, so you feel uh, a kind of, I mean, uh, you are not isolated, you are not alone mm -hmm. and um, you are seeing a reflection, mm -hmm. maybe someone else who is listening a to you. A team member is there. A team member is okay. there. So, it is always good that you must stand before a mirror and close uh, your mm -hmm. one of yours. Like you do riyas in music, mm -hmm. uh, learning uh, music, mm -hmm. so, uh, the musician always uh, does like this, mm -hmm. so that you can listen to your own voice. So, that uh, way, uh, I mean uh, you can improve your spoken ability. Right. So, it is good, it is not bad and uh, mm -hmm. it is a good exercise. And it is not at all bad to, to do mistakes every it time. It is not at all bad to mm -hmm. do mistakes because uh, you, you learn mm, through your mistakes only. When mm -hmm. you know this is my mistake, you try to rectify it. True. So, mistakes have to be rectified. Mm -hmm. So, there is no harm in uh, I mean uh, committing Doing any mistake. error. Yeah, yeah. So, any language learning, anything that you learn 
will definitely uh, i mean commit error hmm. when you are learning swimming when you are learning dance when you are True. learning uh, music hmm. many many uh, even learning cycling hmm. also while you were small child you were walking hmm. so you have fallen down many a time but hmm. you got up and start walking True. so it is there is no harm because the whatever you learn definitely uh, you will commit errors yeah, right, right so we have uh, another call yes hello 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 yes you can hear me हाँ मैम माय क्वेश्चन इज इज गूगल ट्रांसलेटर यूजफुल फॉर वोकेबुलरी बिल्डिंग ओके राइट दैट्स द क्वेश्चन यू वांट टू आस्क Google Thank translation. So yes, yes. Google translation. Mm -hmm. Actually, I am not. Uh, I mean, uh, in favor. Of in favor of Google translation. Okay. Because uh, I have uh, many a times I have come across many many Google translations which are uh, literal translations and the meaning is totally different. Mm -hmm. So you mean uh, the Google translates mm -hmm. uh, whatever like uh, I I recently I uh, mm -hmm. read one Hindi uh, sentence mm -hmm. and uh, the meaning was totally different. Okay. I said okay, because uh, because I know Hindi mm -hmm. and I know uh, like uh, the translation is uh, it was so atrocious mm -hmm. that I said this cannot happen and I went to my friend uh, um, uh, Professor uh, uh, Sandhya Singh and I said okay ma'am how can this is this is not a right uh, translation okay no mm -hmm. ma'am this is totally wrong True. so don't depend on Google translation and uh, try to translate on your own mm -hmm. or if you have a friend or an expert of this ex mm -hmm. and there is a story um, uh, we can show it to the viewers like this uh, can you please pick it up this is the first slide and uh, there is a story um, uh, called uh, miss bill the otter miss mm -hmm. bill the otter okay so uh, in the in the story the first thing we have talked about is we want to create a kind of uh, interest in the children mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. so we want the children to discuss uh, on uh, this is a pet mm -hmm. one uh, the author has otter kept otter as mm -hmm. a pet mm -hmm. otter is an unusual pet mm -hmm. okay but this unusual pet uh, uh, has given lots of happiness to the to the author mm -hmm. but uh, here also like when we talk about uh, pet there are many things that go with the pet so okay. what you should do how you should take care of the pet mm -hmm. how you should uh, um, handle the pet mm -hmm. what kind of medicine you will give what kind of vaccination you will give what mm -hmm. kind of uh, games that you will design for the for the pet to uh, mm -hmm. feel happy about mm -hmm. it so uh, so uh, that was actually um, uh, given in the in in in, the, in this uh, 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 chapter chapter in mm -hmm. this story mm -hmm. okay it is a very nicely written story mm -hmm. and uh, in order to know about the pet so how to handle a pet and all mm -hmm. so initially we have given certain activities okay and the activities like uh, pet is a serious responsibility mm hmm okay. true so uh, and uh, if it is serious responsibility so what are the things we should uh, do you know to make our pet happy okay because pet is giving happiness to us mm -hmm. we also must take care of the pet mm -hmm. so so what kind of uh, uh, um, Thing, what, uh, or things are what, what, what hmm. kind of things that we have to do with the pet mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that and what kind of proper care we will take uh, when the pet is concerned mm -hmm. and uh, and it is also written that uh, owning a pet is a lifetime commitment mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. so uh, we want the children to uh, think about it okay. we want the children to read about it mm -hmm. we want the children to uh, uh, make notes and to have a practical experience of life practical experience suppose they don't have a pet they can go and talk to some they can take mm -hmm. interview mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. and then note down it so uh, they can uh, uh, write down they can go to a vet mm -hmm. and they can ask the vet about it mm -hmm. and uh, what kind of medical uh, medical i mean uh, um, mm -hmm. assistance they can take from the vet so these are the things they will write it down mm -hmm. and then they will present it in the class mm -hmm. so they are uh, talking to people they are uh, noting down the uh, uh, points mm -hmm. and uh, mm -hmm. all these whatever uh, i mean inputs is they are getting from the vet and from the and uh, the interview mm -hmm. and then they will also write a paragraph on it mm -hmm. and they will read it in the class okay so now mm -hmm. this initial activity mm -hmm. has for uh, integrated four skills okay. okay they will read about the pet mm -hmm. they will read about what kind of pet you can keep at home mm -hmm. so uh, if it is unusual pet so what kind of unusual pets are allowed to keep mm -hmm. in the in, in at home mm -hmm. then uh, the third thing is that they can to take interview because if they don't have a pet then they can uh, go and take the interview mm -hmm. they listen to it mm -hmm. they will write uh, uh, make notes mm -hmm. note taking is also there mm -hmm. and then they will write about it 
So, all the four skills are uh, integrated. True. So, so in the single activity, mm -hmm. we are integrating the skills. When the teachers say that it is very difficult for us to uh, integrate skills, that is, it is not at all difficult. Mm -hmm. Rather, it becomes easier because you are giving children to uh, uh, Ex participate, explore and explore uh, things, hmm. uh, explore and hmm. participate, hmm. and write. Hmm. So, and they are writing in a group. Hmm. So that group activity is uh, uh, also helping them. Somebody will uh, write it, somebody will draw it also, mm -hmm. because we are also talking about art integrated learning. If it is art integrated learning, so what kind of paint and how it is looking like and mm -hmm. so th it can be, uh, they can represent uh, those things in painting. Mm -hmm. okay. And they may face uh, some challenges There's also. Some challenges also, mm -hmm. how to uh, um, uh, tackle those challenges mm -hmm. and uh, um, how to, um, and then here also we have uh, given something um, beyond the text. Okay. For example, this is uh, uh, this is about otter, mm -hmm. and some people uh, that we have one more, uh, I mean, uh, lesson in our class nine textbook, mm -hmm. uh, that is uh, a sloth bear. Okay. One lady has kept uh, a, a pet sloth a bear. sloth bear. Mm -hmm. A sloth bear is very huge. Right. It is very difficult to, uh, I mean, uh, keep a sloth bear as a pet. Mm -hmm. So how she manages, uh, manages it, mm -hmm. and she had to, uh, uh, I mean, create a natural setting for uh, this sloth bear to be mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. So now um, she she created a kind of atmosphere. She mm -hmm. created a kind of, I mean, uh, I mean uh, natural setting for the sloth bear mm -hmm. uh, to be happy. Okay. So it is. It is. I mean, uh, then we we have asked in in the questions mm -hmm. uh, to our students that what kind of animals you can keep. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. and then uh, we have also asked them to do certain projects also uh, like um, exercises. Exercises like, yeah. also, mm -hmm. and then whatever exercises we have given. Suppose you have comprehension questions. Mm -hmm. So these comprehension questions also make the children uh, uh, read. Mm -hmm comprehend mm -hmm. then answer. Mm -hmm. So, again skills are integrated mm -hmm. and suppose it is uh, I mean uh, uh, it is a group work they will discuss. Mm -hmm. So, this team spirit is there, collaboration is there, cooperation mm -hmm. is there. Mm -hmm. So, collaborative learning, cooperative learning all these activities uh, I mean uh, this, uh, that we uh, we are doing mm -hmm. children are working in groups. Right. So, so the so they are exposed to language. Mm -hmm. So, when they are uh, talking to their own friends, uh, so they are also uh, being exposed to language mm -hmm. and they are learning the language. Mm -hmm. So, uh, this uh, the intention of uh, the of uh, integrated skill is that children we want the children to be a good communicator. Mm -hmm. We want them to use language ef uh, effectively, right. accurately, mm -hmm. appropriately. Mm -hmm. So, these things come when uh, they are exposed to language as a whole. Right, right. And all the skills as whole, mm -hmm. as a whole, mm -hmm. and not in isolation. Right. Because and I can't say that uh -huh, I can't say that I'll, I'll develop writing mm -hmm. skills. Mm -hmm. Suppose I would like to develop writing skills, so definitely I'll have to um, uh, write something. Uh, write something. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, how can I uh, read something? Then mm -hmm. only I can write. Mm -hmm. So, so uh, for and while writing, we may face some difficulties. Difficulties also, mm -hmm. and then um, we have to have some points to write. Mm -hmm. So, how to get the points? Mm -hmm. If you read only, they will get the points. Right. So right. Uh, now when we are uh, we developed our uh, textbook, mm -hmm. we also developed one workbook also. This okay. is the workbook words and expressions that we have developed. Right. And now here all the activities are uh, uh, interrelated mm -hmm. and all the activities are also uh, promoting the four language skills simultaneously. Right. For example, reading comprehension. Mm -hmm. Here we want the children to go beyond the text mm -hmm. and because theme is on pet, mm -hmm. here we are talking about keeping a, a baby civet cat, a civet mm -hmm. cat which is mm -hmm. a very and is a nocturnal animal mm -hmm. and uh, it is uh, a small one. Uh, one and it is uh, carnivorous. Mm -hmm. But here a small uh, a person who from Assam, it is a mm -hmm. real life story, uh, he has kept this uh, civet cat as his uh, as a pet, pet. pet and how this unusual pet uh, he is taking care of it. Mm -hmm. And the unusual the, and this his wife uh, mm -hmm. every day at night 12 o'clock she keeps some uh, eatables um, in front of a lantern for okay. this civet cat to come and eat. I am really sorry, it was really interesting to know about it, but we have, uh, uh, I mean, uh, we are about to finish this program very soon. So, if you can please end this session here, uh, if and you allow me. Uh, so, actually, uh, I would like to tell something about this workbook also. Huh. We have given something on elephants in our backyard. Mm -hmm. So, there also we want the children to go to net and try to find out information, then mm -hmm. uh, sit together, discuss, 
us and write and then talk about uh, what is the human uh, wildlife conflict and how to uh, how to uh, okay. uh, I mean um, tackle this human uh, uh, animal human conflict right, right. so okay. i would like to end up by saying uh, a few uh, just uh, a uh, few things to our uh, viewers i'm really sorry this time i'm really uh, sorry about that because we uh, are going to end this program right now so uh, time is uh, 12 already so we'll be discussing this thing again in uh, part 2 i think yes, yes. so uh, i'll i'll be really thankful to you if you can uh, please allow me to end this program here thank you so thank you so much for coming here and it was really nice to discuss with you and you explained it very easily Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Viewers, uh, thank you so much for watching this program and also if you want to share your feedbacks with us you can share it on CIET at the rate uh, kishoremanch.com. And also we have our toll free numbers on which you can call on uh, toll free numbers you can uh, uh, see on screen on your screens in the end of the program right now signing off namaskar.